This guide shows you how to install Skype on a Windows PC. You can download Skype using any browser. In this example, I'm going to show you how to do it in Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome and Firefox. So first of all, open up your browser. Now I'm going to show you the demonstration in Internet Explorer first of all. So I'm going to open Internet Explorer. Once it's open, move your mouse up to the address bar just at the top of the screen and just move it just to the right of whatever's in it and then left click once. Then you'll notice whatever's in the address bar will be highlighted in blue. Then press the backspace key or the delete key on your keyboard. Then on your keyboard type skype.com S-K-Y-P-E dot com then press enter or return on your keyboard. Move your mouse down to download Skype and left click once. Then move your mouse down to get Skype for Windows, left click once. Then at the bottom of the screen, it will say, do you want to run or save Skype followed by the version number.exe and the size from download.skype.com. Move your mouse over save and left click once. This bit might take a bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection, please be patient. Once it's downloading it should say run in security scan, again this may take some time. When it says Skype download has completed, move your mouse over run and left click once. If you get this screen, move your mouse over yes and left click once. If you're using Microsoft Edge, then open it up and then once it's open, click in the bar at the top of the screen the web address bar and type in there skype.com and then press enter or return on your keyboard. When the Skype page loads, move your mouse over download Skype, left click once. Then move your mouse over get Skype for Windows and left click once. A box should appear at the bottom of your screen saying what do you want to do with Skype and then version number and then size from download.skype.com. Move your mouse over save and left click once. This bit might take a bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection. It will then say run in security scan, again this might take some time. Then when it says Skype has finished downloading, move your mouse over run and left click once. Then when this screen appears, move your mouse over yes and left click once. If you want to download Skype using Google Chrome, then open it up. Move your mouse to the bar at the top of the screen and then type in there Skype Dot com. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. When the Skype web page loads, move your mouse over download Skype and left click once. Then move your mouse over get Skype for Windows and left click once. You'll then see Skype followed by the version number.exe appear at the bottom left hand corner of the screen just down here and when it's ready to be installed you'll notice the figures underneath Skype will disappear. There we go. Move your mouse over Skype and left click once. If this screen appears, move your mouse over yes and left click once. And if you want to use Firefox to download Skype, open Firefox now. Move your mouse up to the address bar at the top of the screen here, click into it and type skype.com. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then move your mouse over download Skype, left click once. And when this page appears, move your mouse over Get Skype for Windows and left click once. You'll see this box appear in the middle of the screen. Move your mouse over Save File and left click once. Then you'll notice in the top right hand corner here, this arrow pointing downwards will appear. And if we click on that, you'll actually see the amount of time left before it's finished downloading. When it says Completed or Open File, move your mouse over the word Skype, left click once. And then if this box appears, move your mouse over yes and left click once. Now from this point onwards, whatever browser we use to download Skype with, we should all be seeing the same screen. So move your mouse over install, left click once. Skype is now installing. Please be patient, this might take a bit of a while depending on the speed and age of your computer. And as you can see, it now says welcome to Skype. So move your mouse over, let's go and then move your mouse over sign in or create. If you've already got a, uh, a Microsoft account or a Skype account, then you can type in your Microsoft registered email address, phone number, 
or if you've got a Skype account, you can type in your Skype name here and click next and then follow the instructions on screen. If you haven't got an account, then you can click no account, create one and follow the instructions on screen. I hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.